Tonight would be a good night. What is that? I don't know. It's just, Alyssa, are you smoking? Um, it's a guacamole wrapper. You're smoking a guacamole wrapper? I thought I taught you better than that. Carrie here from Homestead How. Welcome to our homestead. Welcome to our homestead car. If you are at all interested in self-sufficiency, growing your own food or homesteading, you are at the right place. In today's video, we're gonna do things a little differently. We're gonna take you on a little vlog, a little day in the life of a homesteader on a Sunday, February 23rd, 2020. So we're getting ready to go to church. It's a little bit unusual this morning. Our oldest daughter, Lily, actually went through a big surgery on Thursday. She was in the hospital through Friday. Thank you for all the prayer. She's doing really well. Uh, about two years ago, she had open heart surgery and uh, she's had some complications due to that. She's had a couple surgeries since then, but she's doing really well and I appreciate all the thoughts and prayers people have been sending us. So Jen and her are gonna stay home. She's still recovering from the surgery. Jen needs to keep an eye on her. But myself and the triplets, Alyssa, Katie, and Emma, are going to be heading off to church once they get all their chores done outside this morning. So we got Katie and Alyssa over here. They just let the dogs out for the morning. They're feeding the chickens and the goats, doing their chores. Girls, we got to go to church. Now this is what happens every single morning or any time we go anywhere. We have one person in the car and we have two people in the house. And now Alyssa's gonna come out in the car and then Emma who's in the car right now is gonna be like, oh wait, I forgot my so-and-so. And then she's gonna run back in the house. Then Katie's gonna come out and then Katie's gonna lock the door when she leaves. Then Alyssa's gonna say, oh no, 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 I forgot this. And then she's gonna try to get back in but the door's gonna be locked. And then we're gonna be 15 minutes late to church and I'm gonna have to drive 86 miles an hour to get to church. And then I gotta get all of the video equipment and stuff set up for church and that's all gonna be late. So the entire church is gonna miss the service. They're not gonna be able to see it on the screen. It's not gonna stream on YouTube. There's probably like three million um, elderly people at home that wanna watch the service that are all gonna miss it because my children uh, just can't be on time. Let's go, we're late. Some of them are okay being on camera, others don't want to be like Emma, so we'll probably blur her face out, which I think is hilarious. Nice. I'm Katie. Alyssa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna change yes, your voice. Billie Eilish. She doesn't want to be on any of the videos, so that's why she's gonna have this big blur over her face. Look at the other person's heart, so. Alright, let's do this. Okay, she's <laughs> It's gonna be a nice day out today. Emma, I says it's gonna be a nice day out today. It's gonna be warm out. Emma? Yeah. Why aren't you looking at me? I can see your nose, but then it's just like a bunch of hair. Do you want me to just blur out your nose? But I can keep the rest in because it's just hair. Is it okay to show your hair? I know you don't want your face. I can't see your face. I just see your nose. Are you giving me permission to just blur out your nose or can I leave the nose in? Nose or no? Are you saying nose or no? Melissa, Katie, come on. Who's gonna warm the car up quick? Sorry. So Emma wants me to blur her face up, but all I can see is her nose. Okay, should I just blur her nose out? No. Oh, I gotta blur the whole face out. You have to blur my face out too. Are you going to drive? I'm probably going to crash. I really don't want to. You'll be all right. Do you know which one's the brake? I, is it that the go and that's the stop? Yeah, that's the go and that's the stop. Hit the hit the stop. <laughs> okay, go. Push it and drive. This. We're all going to die. D is drive. Wait, do I have to push it? Break it all the way? Keep, Keep your foot on stop. Way. We're all going to die, Mom. <laughs> okay. Okay, now just slowly let your foot off a stop. That's it. You're <laughs> driving. What's happening? Oh, you're just driving to the dumpster. Jeez. Push go just a little bit. No, we're gonna go super fast. I'm not like I did last time. Push go time. just a little bit. Ah. Turn that way. You got us stuck. You've been driving for four seconds and you got us stuck. 
Stop! Put put it on four wheel drive. Stop. Now put the it on four. four wheel drive. The four right there. Just one. Okay, now try again. Push push go again. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna call it go the rest of my life now. <laughs> okay, slow. What even get, is put, it? get your foot ready on stop. Oh my gosh, mom's gonna kill us if you break her car. What if we break her children? Well, she probably won't kill. She probably won't kill. Care of her car. Why is it bouncing so much, Alyssa? You're doing something wrong. You're the only one that's doing something wrong. Okay, you just gotta get us to that dumpster without crashing into anything. Just stop, like really close to it. Not really close, really far away. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's <laughs> never been this bouncy before. You're doing something wrong. Are you hitting the right buttons? Don't go that way. Okay, hit the stop. No, she's not gonna go in. Okay, put it in park. Very first. Get to push that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now go put the garbage in the can. No, that's my turn. I want to huh? drive. No, you're not driving. What did I do wrong? Maybe you're picking both of them at the same time. No, I was only. I only my foot on the mom's coming. Easy. Okay, I'm taking it from here. Thank Alyssa, you. do you realize you just broke the law? Or I broke the law, I'm not sure. No, yeah, because you you made me. Let a professional do it now. Ah! <laughs> that we did, is it recording? Yeah. The other thing that was done this morning that I didn't get on camera was Jen cut my hair. It looks kind of messed up, doesn't it? No, I had to put a lot of hairspray in it to get it this perfect. Does it look perfect? I couldn't she find the hair gelatin. Weird. Yeah, you should have shaved my, it. Trim my chair. No, you should have shaved it off. I want to see what you look Another like thing that's it. exciting for this Sunday is uh, it's 38 degrees out right now, which is like shorts weather for us here in Wisconsin. Alyssa doesn't have a jacket on. Emma's got a, a t-shirt on in the back. It's going to be super warm out compared to what we've been used to. One, one, <laughs> one, one of the things that Alyssa wants to do today because it's so warm out at 40 degrees is put the trampoline up. I got the girls, Jen and I got the girls a trampoline for Christmas and they've been dying to set it up but we want to bury it in the ground. We want to dig a hole and have it buried in the ground. I think the ground might be a little too frozen for that. You think you can dig through that? I you should um, wrap up buckets. No, not a bucket. What's yeah, the little this. thing that digs holes? So this is our little town of Montello which we kind of stumbled upon when we purchased our homestead, but we really love it here. It's an awesome little town. And one of our favorite things is coming up here on the right. In fact, I, I do some work for the movie theater here, which is up on the right. We do their video production. We filmed a concession video for them. Welcome to Montello Theater. Dr. Doolittle is playing today, and uh, we handle the in-theater advertising. This is where we'll be going to church this morning, this big, beautiful red brick building. As I miss the turn. You know so many kids from um, school see the commercial? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. It's not fun. So we just finished church. <laughs> is that good? No. We just finished church and now we're going to our, is it recording? Yeah. We just finished at our lovely church built in the 1800s. 
And now we're going to our favorite place. And if any of y'all are from Wisconsin, you might know what I'm talking about. It's a quick trip, which in our little town is basically everything to us. Our gas station, our grocery store, our source of entertainment. And you said that you buy the stuff. You try. So, two bucks each. I'm not going, it's too crowded, there's too much people. Yeah, let's just skip it. Off to the right, we have the largest tree in the entire state of Wisconsin, right here in Montello. I'm over here. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up church. Now we're heading home, and of course, it's almost noon, so everyone is starving and dying of hunger. No, we're not. Yes, I am. Everyone's complaining that they're so hungry. But Emma. So one idea that I had that I'm Katie agrees with and that Alyssa's gonna do as no, well, not. is we should go out by our wall tent and make a fire outside in the fire pit, get our cast iron skillet, and cook us up some bacon and eggs over a fire That's by you, the wall tent. You can, I'm perfectly fine. I don't Doesn't need that sound to eat. delicious? No, I don't need to eat anything because I know I'm gonna have one piece of bacon, not even a whole thing bag. You don't eat like four pieces of bacon. I need more than that. And your battery's about to die. And we have sausage too, and I have an extra battery in my pocket. I'm not eating that sausage. It was moving. It's chicken sausage. No, it was That's moving. I'm not eating that again. It was moving? Yes. It was moving before it was sausage, and it was moving after it became sausage. And once it goes... Yeah. Katie, we're going to need firewood in order to make a fire. Yes. All right, we're getting ready to go out to the wall tent. We've got some firewood stocked up. I got Alyssa in the back, Katie in the front. We got some kindling. We got our cast iron stove and some bacon and some good food. We're going to go out to the wall tent, clean it all out, get the snow off the roof, and cook up some food. Hopefully, we don't get stuck with this Argo because the snow, although it is melting today, and it's nice and warm out here in the sun, it's pretty thick back there. The Argo keeps getting stuck. We gotta go the rest of the way on foot. So I said wear boots. Drop my camera. Most likely gonna drop the camera. Like save the camera. You take it. Save the camera with your body falling down first onto like a hard rock or something. Just make sure the camera doesn't hit the hard rock. Okay? Okay. Totes. So we're gonna cook in here instead of outside over an open fire because outside. Because we can't find the campfire outside because the snow's so thick. Alyssa, well, your job is to stop acting so comfortable and then get up there and uh, push that snow off the roof. It's really fun. Oh. I don't either. Oh, I forgot what fire was in here from before. Boom! Look at that. Remember that? Oh yeah. That's smart. one of the number one things that I learned from reality television is if you have a campsite, you should always leave. You should make a fire for the next person. And we did that on our last episode. I forgot we did that. Who's gonna uh, clean the porch off? Oh, so help me clean the porch off. How? There's a big board over there. You can go like that. Do you know why we need to do that, Alyssa? Because I need a platform to fly my drone off of. Right there. 
Oh, you're gonna get hit the roof. Look, you didn't get all the snow off either. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's try to get the snow off here. In a specific spot. You can use that board. Because these ones are super dry, so you put these little super dry ones next to it. And well, if there's a little bit of fire airflow fire. like that. That's what I just did. Okay, I'm going to organize our firewood a little bit neater. Hi! We have our food prepped over here. We have our food prepped over there. And... We have, we have a fire going over here we have our fire going over there and then we're gonna go out there and we're gonna collect some more firewood and you guys right there can watch it all okay go get some firewood you can play with this you can play with the saws and stuff outside I'm gonna build a fire so we can start cooking now this is Finger. gonna fall down the steps yeah pretty much you should have brought a snow shovel with ouch I got it yeah, turn it off. Put it over in the corner. I've been waiting all my life for something. I've been down the darkest roads and up in the clouds. But I've always felt that something's missing. That was until I found you right there in the crowd. I was just trying to get a cool drone shot and this is the first time I've crashed this drone. And Alyssa just crashed herself. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't damage it too much. Girls, go see if you can grab it. Eh, she can go get it. <laughs> Alyssa just crashed again. Oh, the camera still works. That was really cold. The propeller broke off. The propellers all broke off, but I think it's okay otherwise. Okay, carefully wipe the snow off and let's uh, let's go cook lunch now. Enough messing around with cameras and drones. Oh, I almost fell again. Just whatever you do, don't drop my GoPro. No, I just fell. Oh, it's so cold. Man, yeah, it's nice in here. It's so cold. My foot's so cold. Alyssa, Alyssa, you are getting really good at falling over. That was really cold. Oh, this thing's off too. Okay, I'm just not gonna. Alyssa, yeah. you can burn yourself. Yeah, I know. Is it recording? Get a little piece of snow and put it in here. If it goes, then we know it's time to cook. You know, girls, a little future reference. <gasps> Alyssa. I just put some butter on there. That's fine. That's not fine. That is. Um, move that butter is all gonna melt right there. Uh, one little tip, Alyssa. When cooking bacon, you don't need to add butter. Really? I do. Yeah, definitely don't. All right, so Alyssa's trying to cook some bacon up. It's sizzling, that's a good sign. Katie's gonna clean the wall tent up a little bit because we have dead ladybugs and just oh, stuff everywhere. Alyssa has a big fear of ladybugs. If you were watching earlier at church, how she almost ruined the entire church presentation for everybody by running around in circles because she was scared of a little baby <laughs> really? ladybug. Yeah. Uh, I used to touch them. Our school's melting. What did you, you think? Know they could bite you. Only the boys. That's a ladybug. It's a lady. It wouldn't bite you. You know, our school's milk tastes like ladybugs. How do you know what a ladybug tastes like? Because I can smell it. Okay, girls, the name of our channel is? How? Learn With Us. So that means that people want to learn with us, so we have to, like, teach them stuff. I'm pretty sure they know how to cook bacon. Well, do you have any insights or tips that you've learned from all your years of cooking bacon? Make it crispy. We want a big sizzle. That's not too bad. I think I think we got some water in there though. Katie, take those dry boards that we brought. It's on the table. We have some scraps left over from our little workshop. And those are all killed and drying boards, so those are super dry. So we're cheating a little bit. Okay. Some of this firewood's too wet. We might have to get rid of some of this fat. Bro, the guacamole is delicious. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this in my loads are gonna get it. No, it's, it's up to some... I wonder... I wonder how... Sustain 
Stay with me. Oh, let's get my pocket. Tonight would be a good night. What is that? Stay with me. Oh, let's get my pocket. Tonight would be a good night. What is that? I don't know. It's just, Alyssa, are you oh. smoking? It's a guacamole wrapper. You're smoking a guacamole wrapper? I thought I taught you better than that. Well, wait, I'm trying to tan myself. What? Wow, she's, what? We're, stu we're stuck out in the wall tent. We don't have any entertainment. So Alyssa tried to smoke a guacamole wrapper and it didn't work. And now she made a flute. No, it's a recorder. Play a real song. You take requests? I don't right. know it. I take requests. Jingle bells. Um. <laughs> I know how. Okay, I'm done. I really don't know. Because my mouth is already. No, I'll do the other side. We need to be resourceful. We're out in the woods. I want to get a good camera shot of the bacon from up above. Do you think the people out there watching this appreciate what we go through to try to get them good camera angles? So like I sh I'm wasting my time. Yeah, pretty much. Well, maybe that's the only reason they watch our channels because we have the we're the homestead channel with the best angles. We, we break drones to get shots for these people. What can we hook this in over there? Yeah, I me mean neither. You need. Then you need to cut the. What the problem is though, if this camera drops, oh crap! It's gonna cook in the bacon. You need to do that. You need to make a little net. It's gonna fall. It's oh. definitely gonna fall. Just get your shot and then take it's not it. Not even centered. I am your camera. <laughs> Did it make it in? No. Okay, we're not getting a good bacon shot anymore. Or maybe that was the best bacon shot ever. This thing fell into the bacon grease. <laughs> you should, you should Ooh, my GoPro smells like bacon now. Leave my dad sleeping. I bet we can have all this bacon to ourselves. We just have to be quiet. Look, he's literally sleeping. You can hear him. Hold it. Oh! <laughs> Gonna eat all my bacon? <laughs> So we're on hour 47 of waiting for this bacon to cook. Katie's losing her mind and she's fashioned a crude instrument out of an old the guacamole oh. wrapper cover. Oh, she made a homemade straw. <laughs> Play us a little song. The bacon would have been cooked like eight hours ago, except Alyssa keeps playing with it every 26 seconds. It's gonna be really hot. I don't care, I'll burn myself for it. Right, so the bacon's almost done, we gotta pull a couple pieces out. We need something to put the. We need some paper towel or something. I got this plate, but it's greasy. Use bread. Mm. We're gonna use the. Katie had a good idea. We're gonna use the butt of the bread. The butt. Because we don't have any paper towel or napkins. Sometimes you just have to encourage them along a little bit. Come on. Come on, Come little on. fellas. It's over for you. I'm sorry. Stop fighting us. And just get crispy. <laughs> then you'll have a, a good sandwich. I think you're. I think you're going crazy. It's the third day and you're still going crazy. It's because I've been waiting 47 hours to eat bacon, mm. and now we're we're making a paper towel out of some old bread. <laughs> when I'm done eating and I don't have a napkin now, am I supposed to wipe my face with this little old crusty piece of bread? Yeah. It's got bacon juice all over it. You took a piece of bacon, and you used the tongs, and you set it in the snow to cool it off for yourself, and then you took one that was like a million degrees, and you just set it sizzling <laughs> into my hand and fried my hand up into nothing. So that was nice. So, Katie, look. So this is Katie's idea to get the grease off the bacon, but if I just went like this. Oh, no. It's working. It worked, guys. Okay, and if it cools down a little bit, it'll be good. Oh, so okay. you guys are going to eat some, and I'm not? Just right. get a little piece. Just get a little baby one. Okay, no one... Do we have an agreement? Nobody else touches the bacon. I'll hide it. No, just set it over here to cool down. It did its job now. Give it some respect. Uh, I'm hungry. Should I... Dad, should I flip them? Let's we'll see if they're... How they're doing. That looks pretty good. Oh, it's perfect. Look at the toast marks. Okay, I think it's done. Okay, and then we're gonna come over here to the bacon station. Take this. I could have put some like guacamole on it if you guys didn't eat it all. Ah. Alyssa, you're going a little heavy on the bacon there? <laughs> Don't! 
I get the rest. Because mm. you're the best piece of bread. Mm. Mm. Would you stop? When you stop that, please. That's one way to clear the snow off the porch. Dad, should I show them my broken jacket? Oh my gosh. Jeez, Alyssa. I didn't even use it that much. Kitty's filming now, so people are going to ask, they're going to say, hey, you went to church, you hung out in the wall tent for a couple hours. What'd you do the rest of the day? This is the answer right here. Look at all these files. So this is Sunday vlog. This is all of the footage for today's vlog. And it's three o'clock in the afternoon and now I'm going to be editing for hours and loading stuff onto YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna cover up your face quick. So we're closing out our Sunday night and um, to celebrate the fact that my haircut, I look like a 14 year old boy, per Lily. Actually, we're going out to dinner because Lily just had her surgery on Thursday and she's doing awesome and she's really tough she's and crazy. strong after going through open heart surgery. Now her third surgery, she did really well. So we're gonna go out and celebrate and take her out to dinner at her favorite restaurant no. to be determined. Two pizza Oh, Come on. It's only funny when I do it. And you puke, oh my god, I should have never ate that. I love that one. Alyssa, what's the absolute worst thing about Walmart? Turn around and tell me. How we walk for four hours and we don't even stop. And why are we here? That's, she, that's how low she is. Alyssa, show me. Demonstrate once. Oh. <laughs> Lily. Stop, I actually need one. Try it. Jen! How do you think the economy is doing right now? <coughs> that was rude. Jen! Alyssa, where is she? Jen! It took three days to put bacon, this is taking even longer. Jen! This is taking like three years. Emma, can I leave your face in for the end of the vlog? No. And, and he's like, 